Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with Bel Air this week. Of course, it is season one, episode 10, where two baby i don't know how to feel about this episode just like i don't know how to feel yeah. about the whole thing that happened over the weekend we're not gonna talk about it yeah man <laughs> but uh, bro, uh we gonna go ahead and get into it for all of you all that stood in there with us thank you all this was a great run hopefully it gets a season two yeah hopefully and uh like you said uh, i will say that it was a good episode but very underwhelming like that part. Yeah, because I was looking for something greater that Will's dad did and of keeping that from him. And I feel like the yeah. reasons uh wasn't, It wasn't so Yeah. It didn't weigh as heavy as we thought it would for right. some for them to keep it as such a hush hush, he's such a bad guy type of thing. I'm like Yeah. I yeah. was underwhelmed by the reveal of what he did. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it though. But uh in this episode, we see that Aunt Viv the, became a part of the fellowship. She got her paintings up. Everybody's there having a good time. Even got a picture of Will on the wall. And, you know, Carlton looked a little bit jealous by it, but he kind of pushed I it. I would have. He kind of pushed it down some because, you know, they in a good place. Mm -hmm. um, I but don't know. It was kind of like, wow, I'm your mm -hmm. only son. And you, and you didn't even paint me. And you didn't even paint me. You paint <laughs> right. your nephew. And he's, I'm already having this adjustment thing that I've got going on. Yeah, I would feel some kind of way about that, too. Yeah, and uh, Uncle Phil saw a whole lot in that picture that I didn't see, but <laughs> kudos to him. But I can say that everything that he said about Will was 100% true. Yeah, spot on. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely spot on. So Aunt Viv's girlfriend was like, you know, where, where, where's Michael Ely at? You know, he <laughs> dropping keys <laughs> yeah. out of a window. And she was like, she said that uh, makes he not here because he think this should be all about me and Phil. But I was like, even if he comes, why shouldn't it still be about y'all? Right. If he ain't trying to hook up with you. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> a whole nother episode. <laughs> yes. One thing I did like in this episode, I like that Uncle Phil came to Carlton and was like, hey. Um, Finally. Yeah. There's this um thing coming up with this race. And I thought it'd be nice that we, you know, we go out and go where we go. And he was like, dude, Carlton was like, do Will know yet? He was like, no. Uncle Phil was like, I thought that me and you should go unless you want him to go. He was like, yeah, I want him to go, but it's he don't like, thing. yeah, he don't like racing. I so I, I was, didn't know Carlton had that many teeth. Right. Oh, he was <laughs> gritted from ear to ear. And I said, finally. Finally, yes. Because just like I just said, auntie seems to gravitate more to Will. And, and I get it. You're trying to make the newcomer feel comfortable and He's inspire you. Like, he's really shaking yeah. up the atmosphere in the home. But at the same time, you got to still realize that there are other children that need your attention individually as well. And I feel right. like they didn't do a lot of that with... Well, I feel that way with Ashley, too. Like, Ashley kind of just does her own thing. Mm -hmm. And they don't know too much about what the girl is going through. And then, of course, like I said, Carlton. So I was glad that at this point that Uncle Phil actually was showing him some one-on-one... -on -one attention because will has been getting it all right but it goes back to what jeffrey told uncle phil last week is that you steamroll over the people that you love and like i told you they this is a show but it talks to it's talking to it us and our everyday life is like what are you doing to take away from the people that you love that you ain't spending quality time with them because you so busy out there chasing something else and most time that's, that's the paper yeah <laughs> And you mess out on all those years. I'm just thinking about Jeffrey, not Jeff, thinking about Carlton being the age he at. How many years did he actually miss spending time with Carlton because he was chasing success? True. So now the kids are starting to feel the pressure of not <laughs> having Jeffrey, the house manager, in the house because Carlton came downstairs and Will was like, hey, dude, you want some cheese eggs? <laughs> Carlton was like, no, nah, bro, I'm trying to be healthy. I was like, I thought cheese eggs was well, kind of healthy, just yeah. eggs and cheese, you know what I mean? <laughs> you put the cheese in there, that's the part. I don't know. But but anyway, so he go in the refrigerator and was like, but I can't eat nothing healthy because there ain't, ain't no, no food. food in here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is when it dawned on them that they lied. About where Jeffrey at because Will, everybody had a yeah. different story. Uh, Ashley said 
Pop said he on vacation. And Will was like, no, nah. Pop said he had a family, uh, a, a emergency. family emergency. So they like, huh, somebody lied. Something is up. So that starts getting um, Carlton's wheel turning. So Carlton end up going and doing some research. But before then, um, Will. Yeah, somebody went to, went to um, Jeff. No, Ashley said I went to Jeffrey's room. And, all, and his stuff. all his stuff was gone. So that was a dead giveaway. So maybe they should have had maybe kept at least 10 suits, you know, a couple pair of underwear, a couple <laughs> pair of socks, you know, to make it look like, like there's a possibility that he was coming back. <laughs> but Will had already spilled the beans too. Yeah. And he was like, I don't, it might be on to something because I got him to look into my pops and I'm yeah. feel, won't feel it, none of that. So it, he may not be coming back for real. So that's where Carlton was like, hold on, wait a minute. I got to go do some investigating around yeah. this house. <laughs> it's bad when the children got to find out the parents are lying. Yeah, they did. Yeah. But, you know, I hadn't really, like, horned in on the show of all the lying that they was going. Oh, yeah. Every oh. episode, there was a lie. And Jeffrey was like, I, I, I love y'all too much to lie. He's in the right field. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so Hillary is still trying to get from underneath for Kylo's <laughs> oh, thumb. God. So she's been working with, um, we know her by Carucci. I mean, yeah, that's all yeah. I, mean. I couldn't remember her name. So obviously she must be this big influencer. So basically, um, Hillary was going to follow in her shadow, but um, Jazz was like, why you keep on, you know, basically. Coward into yeah, these Yeah, to people. these people when basically you got what it takes too. Versus trying to chase up her butt, why don't you become her partner? Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that Hillary was gonna go to the girl and tell her that we gonna be partners, but I want you to buy the house that Kylo is in. And she went with her. I thought she was gonna tell her, I, yeah. nah, I ain't fitting to I do was that. Say, that's a manipulation Cause tactic. Because she, she was like, because if I buy the influence of the house, that means that you buy your you contract. Got a contract out. And she was like, kinda just call it in advance. I was like, <sighs> That's but she, manipulative as but hell. She but she was like, worked. the way that my bank account is set up, you know, my savings account is taxed to my checking account, so I got to talk to my account and see if we can make that happen. <laughs> That's basically yeah. what she said. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> All right, so Lisa, Lisa is still pissed off at Will when they, was at, when they was at the uh, fellowship thing, and Will was trying to tell her that, you know, it wasn't that I didn't want to tell you. It was that if I told you, I would get my Uncle Phil in a whole lot of trouble. And she still wasn't trying to hear that. But she was like, but you going to get the point. You still lied, player. So Jazz was like, you know what, man? You just need to tell her how you really feel. Even if she don't take you back, at she least you can out. walk away knowing that you tried and, and, and you told her how you felt. So he went and told her, like, you know what? I'm in love with you. I still want to be with mm -hmm. you. Matter of fact, ain't nobody ever made me feel the way that you that you made me feel. So she was like, you know what? We can't do this here. Let's yeah, let's set up something. Shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's set up something after this. And they end up setting up a date where they were supposed to have been going to the coffee shop. But I was really like concerned because she was like. I got something to tell you, but she kept cutting it off. And I was like, please yeah, like, don't what you tell, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me that there's a bambino uh -huh. in the belly. Coming through the pipeline. <laughs> 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 so everything is going pretty smooth. And we saw Will was leaving the house because he was on his way to basketball practice. And this car just mosey on up in the house. And I was like, what kind of gate? Y'all got that don't shut immediately when the car go. I'm like, mm -hmm. anybody can come on up and through there, but this I've got this, this is TV. Jeffrey's not, not there. Yeah. That's it, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Every, everything is falling everything. apart. We this got no sneak food. Your head right on in, man. No food, no security, no tracking <laughs> devices. Like everything is falling apart. Fall apart. Cause he go. <laughs> you go hit me. <laughs> <in my face. laughs> Shout out to this weekend. <laughs> And to our surprise, um, I can't remember which one of you guys said in the comments last week that you guys was hoping that Will Smith was going to be Will's dad. But we kind of thought about that. Maybe it might have been a good case this week, seeing what happened. You know, everybody's emotion is this way and that way. People got different of opinion. Uh, We're not going to talk about it here because... But anyway... <laughs> Uh, but the daddy was got doing Marlon Wayne. When he pulled up and he turned around, I said, pause, 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 pause. pause. We just bust out laughing. Immediately we bust out laughing. I was like, y'all, 
Because we don't know which way this is going to yeah. go. Yeah, is it going to be comedic or, or is, is it going to be serious? serious? And either way, it's still going to have a comedic twist to it yep. because it's Marlon. Right. So we laugh before he even said anything. Before he even said anything. <laughs> so uh, Uncle Phil and Carlton was getting ready to go to the race. And that's when he popped in the house and Uncle Phil was like, Han, Dude. what the hell is you doing here? And he came in there like he was on some BS. Yeah. He just walked, <laughs> walked in, in the, the door. House, yep. And I'm like, yo. <laughs> like, player, you don't live there, man. You don't walk in nobody's house unless you want me to use these amendment rights. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Uncle Phil was like, you know, how did you, why are you here? And he was like, because my son has been asking for me. And he said, <laughs> it's not funny. What did he but call him? But he said him? that British dude. That Jeffrey. British dude. What did he call him? Jeremy? Jeremy. <laughs> he said Jeffrey. And that British dude came and told me that my son wanted to see me. And, and, and again, we still pissed off that Uncle Phil and all of them has been hiding this from Will for all this long time. And then even with his dad being there, he wanted to send him away before Will know he was there. But Carlton peeped it. Parton was upstairs because Uncle Phil lied to him and said, we can't go to the to the race now because something come up in business. When he saw you down there with Will's dad, so he know that's the reason why you canceled it. So when uh when Carlton when when Will got back to the house, Carlton was like, I'm gonna need you to sit down. Because we saw that after all this bullshit was going on, <clears throat> Carlton needed answers. Carlton went looking for the packet, and he found the packet. And so when Will got back, he was in there telling Will, "You don't want to sit down for this." Will said, "Give it to me straight. Give it to me, man." Because he said, hey, "Mighty Mouse, I thought you were on the track going 200 miles now." Actually, <laughs> did he really call this dude he Mighty Mouse? Now let's backtrack a little bit. What had really like kind of just got me a little bit? I love me some Jeffrey. Jeffrey can't do no wrong in my opinion. But why did Jeffrey go to Lou and tell Lou that your son is asking? All Will asked him to do was to go find out about my pops. Jeffrey, why did he go and approach him with that? Because he's an upstanding citizen he's in the not. United States. <laughs> he's an assassin. Jeffrey said, I am not going to lie. I'm going to tell him straight up, your, your son is looking for you. He didn't have to do that. Like the Bible say, do unto others as you want them to do unto you. If that had been your son. Who said we're Christians? Huh? Who said we're Christians? But the Bible, whether you're Christian or not, it's the Bible. Well, <laughs> <laughs> not going there today. If it was your son and I had the information and I came to you and I told you half of it, but didn't tell you the rest of it, that your son was actually looking for you. Don't come to me at all. <clears throat> Just get the information and give it to my son. But anyway, <laughs> Jeffrey Brady show. <laughs> <laughs> so now Uncle Phil and Aunt Vi is talking about it because Uncle Phil told Aunt Vi, Aunt Viv, that, hey, Will Daddy is here. She was like, oh, what? Yeah, he here. So the first thing she said was, we need to call Aunt Vi. I was like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but they never called her. Yeah. And I was like, that should have been like, before y'all even started having any type of banner together about how to handle this situation, you should have called Call her his first. mama. So they were still contemplating on not telling Will, but you remember, Carlton just told him. And so Will came up upon them while they was having the conversation and they was getting ready to lie again. He, he said, lying. I know y'all talking about me and I know y'all get ready to lie that my dad was here. And they looking at him like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> so again, they telling him that you don't want nothing to do with him. He's he bad. he bad news, and so we'll let him know that hey, I know that he went to prison when I was young. I know he was a part of this, a part of that, a part of this, a part of that. His dad went to jail. Jail, so, yeah, and all that stuff. And he, you gave me a second chance. Why like, is it so bad that my dad, dad didn't get a, get a second chance? Like he was like, well, your dad is a master manipulator. He's a kind artist. And, and at, by this time, we was like, um, this, I'm still not like, what getting else? what I need or why. This was such a secret. Y'all hid this from him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so finally, Will ended up calling his mama and telling his mama that his dad was there. And she was kind of like, oh. 
And I'm like, yeah. So fast forward. So Will was like, I want to talk to my daddy. So they got him back over there. And of course, we know every time we see when a person hadn't seen their father or their mother, it just an emotional it's just, it's, it's just everywhere. And Will was like, you know, it's been 13 years. You know, why you ain't reached out? And so he was like, the reason why I didn't reach out because I was in prison and my dad was in prison and I can remember going to prison to see him and that don't mess me up. He was like, each of them died a little bit every encounter. He's yeah. like, so I wanted to save you from that. Yeah. And I'm like, that makes sense. Yeah. Even though as bucked up as it is, just like this weekend, it's a lose-lose situation. Yeah. Any so, decision you make is going to be the wrong one. So after all the emotions, I guess, started calming down, we see them reminiscing about when, I guess, they went to a basketball game and he got back home late and they were chuckling. I was like, oh, that turned around pretty fast. I was yeah, like, yeah. okay, so maybe, it. maybe, maybe this ain't as bad as they thought it was going to be. Yep. Until <laughs> Will's father said, I couldn't. Everything I tried to do, I could not please that woman. And Will was like, wait a minute. You know. That's my mama uh, now. You ain't fitting to be talking about my mama. Not in my presence. He it's, was he was rude. Yeah, nasty. he was. Yeah, he, he did he did kind of take it too far. He, he took was it like way too far. So he started telling Will, you know, but what your mama was the reason why I got locked up anyway. Because what happened was Uncle Phil started getting rich. And so your mama started putting pressure on me to go out and make some bread, I guess, so they could get rich. So I had, I started hustling. Yeah. <laughs> and I got and I got locked up. So all this is your mama fault. That's so <laughs> so by this time, Will is like, no, nah, you ain't fitting to put this on my mama. So he cussed it that <laughs> he cussed him out. And by this time, Uncle Phil came in there. Cause, Luke cause Will was like he was getting ready to put to put a two piece on on his daddy boy. And his daddy don't got him up through here. I said, hold on, wait yeah, a minute. yeah, wait you, a minute. yeah, you ain't been around thirteen years. You ain't got no. Yeah, you gonna yeah, have to yeah. take this one with your chest, right? <laughs> so, out of all of it, I was like, you know what? Well, here's one of them cases where the daddy is taking all the fault for what the mama decided to do. The mama. Aunt Vi, the one that kept all this from Will. True. And got Uncle Phil and Aunt, uh, Aunt Viv involved. And this is where we confused that. I'm still confused. Because, yes, you don't want to tell a, a child that their parents is in pr prison. Because they don't understand. Mm -hmm. And they don't understand. But Will is old enough to understand what it means to go to prison. He, Skit, he was getting ready to go himself. It wasn't, right. <laughs> it wasn't for Uncle Phil them. So I'm like, what was it so bad that it became this big family secret? Right. And like the stuff that they saying he was doing was con. And Uncle Phil was his lawyer. So I'm like, did. But Uncle Phil was saying that's not the half of it. Remember, I'm yeah. his lawyer. So of course, he knows more information than anybody else. But I, I, I it, it still did not, it did not weigh the way that they wanted it to weigh to me. Yeah. Because, but, like you said, maybe we just desensitized. Maybe... No, no I'm, I'm sensitive to the fart when he was little, but now that he is of age, why keep it? Right. And no, what I mean is maybe we desensitized to the magnitude of what he did. Like, there are so many other things that he could have done that we feel like could have weighed so much heavier. I, let me be straight with you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be straight with you. And it's it's sad to say it's sad to say this. And if I'm wrong, y'all let me know, man. But for the black families, people going to jail and prison is not nothing new for us. <laughs> it's not. It's really not. It's not. So that's why I. I didn't it, get it. It destroys families, but yeah. In your classroom, there's probably five other. Of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I felt like that on his mom could have prevented all this and told him. Long time ago. So even um so after the, the big kerfuffle after they sent Will's father away, finally, 
they gonna call on 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 Viv calls on Vi when all hell done broke loose. And we're gone. And yeah. And so she tells uh on Vi that it didn't go too well with her dad. And that's when she started going in like, oh my God, I should have had told him myself. This is all my fault. I was the one that kept that from Will. And so now this is what we got. Now he done ran. And then at this time, she didn't know that Will had ran away. Yeah, I was like, and that's what up with that. <laughs> right. So that's what Ovid was like, now we're trying to find him. She was like, what do you mean? We, you trying to find him? What? Where the hell my <laughs> son? <Where he> at? <laughs> Because by this time, he ran away, which, which I get it. You know, he don't even know what to think right now. And like you said, I feel like everybody has lied to me. Yeah. And like... And I, they did. Yeah, and I'm like this secret, like, lie over mm -mm. here. Come over here. Start a new, a fresh new life. But the lie starts right here. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. Totally. And so, I, I, I forgot to put this in part. So, when Will Dad had already been out of prison for three years... So he would say he was trying to get himself back on his feet, which that still ain't no That's excuse. the typical. Yeah, that ain't no excuse not to reach out to your son. Real fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, but I appreciate you still trying to get your life together, but you still should have. Because when they was arguing, Will said, if I had not reached out to you, would you have reached out to me? And he got silent. He couldn't answer. And then he had a nerve to tell Will that, hey, I tried to come here and make it right with you to set you straight. But guess what? From this point on, you gonna have to live with this consequence. I said, wait, wait, wait. what? You, you was the one that left him, man. How you gonna tell us his consequences? Now that's the bullshit I'm talking about. That parents will buck up and do some stuff and not be in their children's lives, and then they want to put the responsibility of the reconciliation on, on the, the child. Children. Yeah. Even when they try to step up one time and that child rejects them, then the door swings on. On their on their hinge. No, yeah. no, no, no. You're still the parent. You are still the parent, and you still have to keep trying. Do I say try <laughs> for forever? Because every try has an expiration date, in my opinion. Right. But one try, you don't put, you don't get to. Tip, yeah. It's tap, been thirteen tip, years, tap. bruh. Thirteen years. And you've been out for three. Yeah. What church you go to? Because you said <laughs> your pastor sent you to get you the money to get the flight to come up over there. What church you go to? So I can write your pastor a lot of them and tell him that you won't be acting up. You cussing. You got pee, you you put your hands on your son. And yeah. I bet you, I bet you, you was a deacon. I bet you. Nah, he a trustee. <laughs> no, he can't be a trustee because he got no money. You gotta be a trust. You gotta have money to be a trustee. He an usher. He play drums. He play drums, Tyler. He play drums. Yes, he do. No, he played a Congo. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that wrong with fat cargoes, but y'all know, you know, yeah. If I just you, had a whole If you go visual. in church, yeah, uh -huh. we, we had a Congo player in our last church, and, and, and that cat was sweet. But I mean, he but eyes I just be saw him. His eyes be, I mean, he be all up into that John playing them Congos. It's, it's like, yeah, I it's he, me and the Congos. That's how he did it. He was feeling no titties. Yeah, no, none of us was at, at the church. It was just him and the Congos, right? <laughs> 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 So he over there feeling on titties. But anyway. <laughs> uh, but uh, so Will ended up going up to um, where he could see the city. And while he was up there, Jazz came. And so I don't know how. Said, how did Jazz know? I said, well, you know he's sleeping with Hillary. So Hillary said my cousin missing. He said. But how did he know to go there, though? Because but, that's where when he picked him up from the airport. That's right. They that's stopped they over, over there. there. And he yeah. told him, you know, this place will try to change you. But stay who you are. Right. So, you know, he started coming sideways at Jazz a little bit because um, Will was like, nobody wants me. Everybody lied to me. And Jazz was like, you know what, bro? <clears throat> you got a whole lot of people back at the house. Looking for you. Looking for you that love you. And I know basically what I said, that don't let it change you. But that don't mean that you can't become a better person. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm feeling that because yeah. just because you come better doesn't mean that, that you, you have to change, where get where you from. came from right. and forget to who you are. You don't have to change that. Mm -hmm. But Jazz was basically telling him that, hey, I know you and your feelings right now, bro, but you got a time of your life right now and you have to make a decision on what it is that you want to do. Because even though you mad at them, which way you going to go? I was like, 
yeah. And that was the episode, but back to it, I, I'm still underwhelmed. underwhelmed. And I'm like, I don't feel like that was good enough to hide from him. Nah. It wasn't you know. the it wasn't the bomb we needed to be um right. dropped today. But y'all I mean, but y'all let us know your thing. Y'all think it was underwhelming, you think it should have been a little bit more powerful at the end. But it still don't take away from the whole season that we season saw. Was excellent. Excellent, man. And if season two, if they do a season two, I'm definitely coming back, man. For sure, for sure. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty sound. Two up, two down. Holla! Boo!